Ip Lin, Principal Consultant of the PE and CCA Department, on stage to introduce the new Scout Awards. Mr. Thor, please. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it's my pleasure to be up here to share on the next portion of our proceedings. As what Mr. Tan, Mr. Tan Chen Fu Xiaozhang has mentioned earlier on, Ying uh, Sui Si Yan, this is, this is something that as a Hua Chong student, we have been, in, we have been embedded in with this value since the day we stepped into Hua Chong. I would like to use a video that I have just watched this morning to share on a bit more on this um, helping. Okay. Now this morning I received an email from Dr. Chang, our deputy principal, and in, and this is a video from TED Talks. I'm sure most of us are quite familiar with that. This is a 17-minute video by an Italian, Ernesto Ciroli, entitled, Want to help someone? Shut up and listen. Pardon me. Okay, this is the title of the, of the video. <laughs> now, why, why he made this video and entitled it, entitled it, as such, because he, he was a uh, he was in Africa helping out in one of the NGO for seven years in his twenties. Uh, when they went there, they were very enthusiastic. What they did was they went around looking for a fertile piece of land, and they found they found a land that was very fertile, and they started planting tomatoes, thinking that they were helping. the villagers from Zambia. When a tomato came out, yes, indeed, it was very fertile. The tomatoes was bigger than what they got back in um, Italy. But one day, 200 people came ashore and wiped out the whole farm. So they were flustered. They were thinking, why? Why, why didn't you all tell us that there were hippos that would eat up all our crops? Guess what the villagers answered? You never ask. Okay? Now, if we really want to help, we must first listen. Because listen forms, it comes from the basis of respect. If we want to help someone, we've got to make sure we respect who we are helping, what they need, instead of just jumping into it and thinking that they need our help and we just help in accordance, according, according to what we think they need help. The next message that struck me was, no one started the company alone. There's always a group or a team, sorry, a team who started it together. No matter who the front man is, there will always be a team. Collective effort goes a long way. The starting of the, this brings me to, to the main point that I want to bring across, okay? The starting of the Scouts Fund. Less than two years back, during a discussion, Dr. Horn threw the idea of making donations from alumni a more concerted effort in helping juniors in school. Something to make it more meaningful and sustaining. Honouring outstanding contributions from individuals and at the same time allowing our current students to learn from the good examples that we have. Scouts alumni took up the challenge. Mr. Eric Chiu, who is not able to be here due to work commitment, went to source for help from a few other seniors. 
Once all agreed, they started work on going around to as many Scouts alumni they can find and through their own network and others who supported the Scouts movement to contribute. They started the Lee Tai Hui Prize to honour Mr. Lee, who is the longest serving Scouter in Singapore. He has shown undying passion and dedication to Scouting during his more than 50 continuous years as a volunteer adult leader in Hua Chong. Since his investiture as a Scout in 1951, Mr. Lee strove to be the best Scout he could be. In 1953, he became the first Queen Scout the school ever produced. Since his appointment as an assistant Scoutmaster in 1954, Mr. Lee has helped the school groom 110 President Scouts, as mentioned earlier by Mr. Tan as well. The Lee Tai Hui Prize shall serve to honour Mr. Lee, the quintessence of scouting virtues such as passion, volunteerism, dedication and perseverance. Another portion of the Scout Fund will be channeled to set up a bursary for needy Hua Chong Scouts. The target was to raise 50000 for a period of 10 years. When the alumni approached Dr. Leong Heng King, he graciously provided a cheque of 50000 Together with this cheque, Dr. Leong wrote a meaningful letter to school, which I would like to quote a part of it without his permission. These are the exact words in Chinese that Dr. Leong has written. Sun Wei Hua Chong Xiao Yu, Penzer Re Ai Mu Xiao De Jing Shen, Zai Neng Li Shuo Ji Fan Wei Nei, Ying Gai Jing Li Xie Zhu Ji Zhi Zhi Mu Xiao De Hua Dong. How nicely he sums up what the school has been trying to teach all of us all these years to contribute back to our school or to the society when we are able to. Thus, the Scouts alumni decided to also form the Leong Heng Heng Prize to honour Dr. Leong's contribution to the course. These are the four Scouts awards that we will be giving out today. The Taiwan Boy Scouts Award, Venture Scouts Award, Leong Heng Heng Boy Scouts Award and Venture Scouts Award. Criteria for the awards are as follows. For role model, active community involvement, outstanding accomplishments in Scouts, meeting academic bottom line, excellent conduct, positive attitude and uphold the Scouts promise. Now, through this journey, Mr. Eric Chiu has reflected and also shared with me his thoughts and he allowed me to share this with all of us here. The important thing is that most of us feel that given what Mr. Lee, Scouts and Chinese High has done for us, giving back to our juniors is a duty. And given our initial success, we hope that other groups will follow suit. Now that we have Scouts started this movement of giving back to school in this manner, we hope that other CCA groups can learn from this example to explore how we can give back to the school one day when we are able to. There are some alumni who have been contributing back every now and then. We have also heard that our current track and field JC2 seniors are also planning in 10 years time after graduation they will all come together as a form of gathering and they, because they would have started working by then, they will contribute a sum of money to help their juniors in track and field in Hua Chong by then. That is the spirit that we like to see most, I mean more CCAs will take up because we cannot assume that a big school like us will sail through without any problems. We have already had our fair share in history. We came through. We need everyone to have the idea of giving back to those who have helped you along the way. Others who need our help in the society to make 
a whole society a better place to be in. So to all CCAs gathered here, years down the road, you'll definitely remember your pursuits in CCAs. The ups and downs you have gone through together, come back for a gathering and contribute. Now, without further ado, I would like to invite Mr. Mal Malcolm Tan, Vice President, National Scouts Guild, to come on stage to present the certificates of um, appreciation to the significant contributors. Mr. Tan, please.